Hello everyone, uh, today I figured I'd try something a bit different for once, and that's that I'm going to be playing this ROM hack of Pokemon Crystal called Pokemon Crystal Legacy. Uh, Pokemon Crystal Legacy is made by a, a very popular Pokemon Gen 2, B Gen 2 YouTuber known as Smith Plays Pokemon. Um, I've always really liked his videos because I'm a huge fan of uh, Johto and Gen 2. So um, we're going to be playing his uh, hack for today. Uh, this hack is mostly meant to be a, a balance hack. Um, you know, it tries to, you know, incorporate more Gen 2 Pokemon in, into the, the, you know, the the main Johto region. So, like, you know how you're normally able to only get Houndour um, and Murkrow and, like, Kanto. Well, now you, I think you're supposed to be able to get them in Johto. Um, I don't know the full detail. He also made the hack harder. I don't know the full details um, about everything because I'm trying to go into this blind. Um, I did play a bit of the hack uh, earlier to make sure it was working and also I did try and do a recording before this and the recording did not go well. Um, so this is attempt two. So this is, you know, something I'm just looking forward to playing just for fun because when I was growing up, Pokemon Crystal uh, was probably the Pokemon game I played the most next to um, Emerald and probably Diamond because Diamond I spent a ton of time playing just in the uh, you know uh, underground because that was just so much fun just digging stuff up underground always hoping you'd get fossils or not and then you know just not getting them or whatever but anyway we named our character Blade after Wesley Snipes uh, it's a shame you know what happened to him with the, all the Tax stuff, but you know, I enjoy him in uh, the movies that he's in, so there you go. Okay, so most of the so there aren't, I think, uh, too many changes, uh. You know, too many like big changes in the sack because it's mostly like just a balance uh, kind of thing. Like, I think there are some story changes, but it's mainly just to like lineups and things like that. And it does this hack does its best to keep in um, you know the spirit of Pokemon Crystal. So that was like the goal, and that's like one of the reasons I'm looking forward to it. Like, there's no special uh, attack split, for example. So. You know, that's going to be something that's going to be fun to play around with. I think Pokemon stats were also altered too. So, you know, that's one of the things that we're going to get to see. Okay, so we're going to go with Chikorita because, you know, the stats in Pokemon were supposed to be buffed at this time around. And Chikorita is considered to be, um, you know, whatchamacallit, the, uh, worst starter, like, well, not only just the worst, I think, starter in, uh, the game, but just in general, like, one of the worst starters, like, ever for, for Pokemon. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about the, uh, audio cutting out, it just doesn't want to play nice, uh, you know, with me. I might have to change a bit of my layout a bit more as I go, but... You know, yeah. For whatever reason, you know, I can't have the sound play when I'm trying to play around with, the uh, That. So let's name our Chikorita the Chicky. Oh, wait. Or, yeah, we're gonna call, her, call it Chicky after Tiki's old, uh... Name. So, let's see how this goes. Okay, so for this run, I'm going to try and only use uh, Gen 2 Pokemon. 
But I'm also gonna try and capture like a bunch of uh you know gen 1 pokemon because i think you have to like they there are all the pokemon in the game uh you know they show up at different points once you do certain things i don't think i have to talk to my mom yeah because in like heart gold i think they force you to talk to your mom before you leave yeah but pokemon crystal is like was a really just like revolutionary game compared to all the other Pokemon that games that came before it because of, other than the fact that it's like forced to be in color on Game Boy Color um whatchamacallit uh it was the first game that had like the Pokemon having animations so that was just something that was just you know really cool like I remember like, when I saw that for the first time, you know, when the game came out, like, when I was in school, I was just like, this is, this is incredible, like, you know, I, I never thought we would see, uh, you know, Pokemon have that kind of stuff. But, let's see. Yeah, so, from what I was playing around with before, I don't think the first areas of the game really have that much changed as far as uh, Pokemon lineups go in terms of like what's available in the wild. You know. Yeah. So, Pokemon... Uh, so Gen 2 is the first game to introduce some um, hold items. So that's why all your starter Pokemon start with, um, you know, um, whatchamacallit, all start with a berry, because they use that, uh, you know, to kind of like teach the player, like, hey, if you played the previous game, there are new, you know, mechanics this time around that you can use to, like, power up your Pokemon and, like, just do all this other fun stuff now. You know, but yeah, when I was recording this video the first time, I actually did manage to run into uh, Ratatata during the day, which is pretty rare to do. Um, not that I'm looking to capture uh, Ratatata really right now. Yeah, because even though I did start with um, Chikorita, normally my favorite starter is for Gen 2 is Totodile. Because I just really like that it's, you know, an alligator. But we're going to use uh, Chikorita this time around and see how that works for us. Okay, we're going to talk to this guy, speed through chatting with him because he just kind of gives you uh, the map card. Not that I needed the map card, but it's just nice to have. Uh, I'm not going to go to the Pokemon Center. So, for Route 30, when I came by here before, uh, I really only ran into um, Pidgey and, and Weedle and Caterpie. I didn't see anything, like, out of the ordinary. Okay. So this is where the first, I think, big change of the game happened. Like I said, I played a bit uh, before. And this big change is that you get the EXP share early, which is pretty nice. Because normally in order to get the EXP share, you have to come back to Mr. Pokemon with the red scale that you get from the red Gyarados. Yeah. And I should be saying in, like, watching or playing this you know, hack and like talking about Pokemon Crystal. I am not an expert on Pokemon or anything like that. I'm just kind of going off of what I remember and just, you know, enjoying myself and having fun. So for this part of the video, I'm just going to try and go up to, um, which we call the first, you know, town, not the first gym. I'll save, you know, some more stuff related to that for later for uh, the next video.
So one of the cool things about this hack is that all the Pokemon that you see, like here, they all have like their own little animation, which is really nice. Okay, that's just the phone call. All right. <laughs> okay. The poison cure berry. You know, it's so nice that like in these games, the the names of what the berries do is usually like pretty easy to understand. While in the you know later games, you have to you know remember the name what each one does. Because I don't off the top of my head remember. Uh, oh, that's another thing I gotta do. I gotta set the text to fast. Whoops. Yeah. Because the beginning of the game, they there are some like twists from what I played that will make the beginning of the game be a bit more exciting. Other than it just be like using tackle on everything. Because going through these parts of the game, you can see why Chikorita is like kind of bad compared to everything else. Like one of the main things about Chikorita that contributes to like just how much they changed and you know just so that you could ex you know have this grass starter Pokemon is that in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, Pidgey's first move is Gust, but they made Gust be a uh, you know flying type moves instead of a normal type move like it was in Gen One. So they couldn't have Pidgey just know Gust and just, you know, d defeat your team. The reason I came up here is just to show, like, you know, they maybe this is something that they could change in a future update, but, you know, it would have been cool if these sprites weren't just, like, the generic ones, like, how here they have the sprites here. Maybe I'll see later in the game that they changed more of them. Um, but, you know, because for there, it's, like, such a small thing that, like, gets overlooked. And this is real, really more of like a balance hat. Okay. In Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you have to talk to this guy, but you don't uh, this time around. And he gives you a berry. Yeah. Because one thing I don't know off the top of my head is if some of the glitches from, uh... the original, like, gold, silver, and crystal were fixed. Like, I know that there are a lot of, uh... bugs related to Pokeballs. I imagine those were fixed. But we'll see. Because mm -hmm. Razor Leaf, maybe I could get like a critical hit and that would help out. No, it didn't do that much damage. But since I have the berry, I'm not gonna lose. Um, oh, uh, well, there you go. That's why you don't use Razor Leaf. Maybe I'll have spoken too soon. Now let's go back to Tackle. Because I don't know, like, the calculations for Pokemon very well. So I don't know, like, how much less, like, Razor Leaf might actually be doing than Tackle. Because at least from when I was playing before, um... You know, Chikorita, I think, is a lot more bulky. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm kind of rushing through things right now. It's just that, the, you know, the early game isn't the most exciting for one and for two. Like, I, I, I did, like I said, I did play up to the first city before and then I didn't realize that my recording settings weren't very good. Um, so now we're going to go here.
you know, report this. This, this, uh, wh whoops. Forgot, we gotta name the rival. Everyone knows what the rival's name is. Okay. And this dialogue is all the same, so we'll get through that. Okay. Okay. And then this guy gives you some Pokeballs, which I think are nice. Because I don't remember, it's been so long since I played them. I don't think in Red, Blue, and Yellow version you get uh, Pokeballs at the beginning of the game. So this was something that I always really liked about Gold, Silver, and Crystal, that you don't have to buy them, they just give, give you some. Yeah. So, I like, so I'm using only, I'm only going to try and use Gen 2 Pokemon uh, in this run. But I like having the mother, you know, hold the money for you. Because it lets you, um, you know, get the Moonstone uh, early and I know how to catch Pokemon. So we're not going to watch that. Okay. So let's see. So here, I think the only Pokemon I can get are Sentret, Pidgey, and Rattata. still. If there's anything rarer, I wouldn't know. So this Pidgey will be the first Pokemon that I catch. Got ya. Okay, I'm not going to add Pidgey to my team counter because I'm not going to use it. One Pokemon here that I am going to use that I'm hoping to get though is Sentret. Yep, there we go. Like I said, I'm just doing, you know, kind of a casual run. So, you know, don't expect the, you know, a Nuzlocke if that's what you're looking for. Yeah. Um, who's someone's name that begins with an S? I don't know why I can't. Oh, there we go. I think that's... Oh, no, that, that that's... A different... I think that's how it's spelled, if I remember right. Yeah, Severa. It's, you know, I'm so bad. I, there's so many Fire Emblem games, I don't even remember uh, if that's her awakening name or her fate's name. But that'll do for right now. Let me just quickly add that in. Again, I have apologize about me not being able to just have the audio you know just stay while I do that but you know what am I gonna do all right there are two poke two or three Pokemon here I think that I could get yeah Rattata is more common here and then you can also get Spiro. Ratatata down. Okay, the other Pokemon that's able to be caught here is usually Spiro, but we'll see. Yeah, there you go. Spiro is a bit more dangerous than, than. Oh, that was a critical hit. Spiro, yeah. That's one of the things that's like a bit more dangerous about Spiro is that it knows Peck. So while they made, you know, Pidgey weaker for the purposes of, you know, being easier to use Chikorita. Oh wow, I didn't catch it. You know, Spiro is a bit harder. 
Okay. I'm out of Pokeballs, so I'm gonna believe. Yeah. I'm gonna give the EXP share to, uh... The Centri- or Severa for the time being. Let's see. Pidgey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really calling it a bit on the close side with that one. Okay. Pidgey, Rattatata, and Spiro. And then we'll heal. Alright, that's something I think I didn't change, but I will. Okay. Wait, I did cancel. What? Why? How'd they get this slow? It says I've been playing for an hour already because of the speed up. That's funny. Okay. So, for Route 1, there aren't. Yeah, or not. This isn't Route 1. This is Route 30. one Pokemon that I definitely want to catch soon, because I don't think that's something that wasn't changed, is Bellsprout. And the reason I want to get Bellsprout is because then you could trade for Onix. And Onix I am going to use uh, one because I want to see if it got buffed, and two because uh, it evolves into a Gen 2 Pokemon if things go well. Otherwise, I just have to catch a Steelix at some point. So... Joey isn't changed because obviously you can't change Joey and his Rattata. Probably shouldn't have you. Oh, uh, see, Razor Leaf's supposed to be what gets all the critical hits, and yet, you know, I'm getting the mostly with tackle. This is like one of those, this is a really like interesting of, uh, example of gameplay and story integration here because Joey has one Pokemon and he loses to this guy and he loses to this guy because he has two Pokemon. So it's like trying to teach you like don't walk around with just one Pokemon or you're going to have a hard time or at least that in theory should be the theory because you know most people just beat these games with one pokemon so this is like the second big change of the of this hack that i that at least i found so far and that's that this guy normally has a pidgey and a rattata but this time around he has a hoot hoot and a centret Yeah. 
Yeah. So that's that. Let's see. Because the Pokemon you catch here are mostly the bug Pokemon and Pidgey. Yeah. Still just running into lots of Pidgeys for right now. I think this bug catcher was the same in that he just uses Weedle and uh, Caterpie. Oh no, he uses Lediba and uh, Spinarak. Because you can catch Lediba and Spinarak around here, but you can only catch Lediba in the morning, and I think that was kept consistent. Spinarak is really difficult for Chikorita because of Poison Sting. Because as things stand, it's gonna end up being that... You know... Centrit. Because Centrit is so slow. Oh, it, it was actually faster than Spinarak. see how far I can get with just Sentret. Probably not very far. Um, this is this area I only ran, ran into Bellsprout when I was playing before and still mostly probably just Bellsprout. Oh, I just realized I don't have any... I don't have any Pokeballs. So I can't capture Pokemon. Alright, I gotta go back to the town then. Alright, Sentrit. It's uh, Sentrit's already slower than Caterpies, so. Easing. You know, just getting hit by String Shot shouldn't do anything. If you're wondering why Sentret's getting EXP twice, it's just because of the EXP share. That's all. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Okay, let's heal up and buy some Pokeballs. Oops. I'm sorry about that. Okay, we're gonna buy as many as I can, which I think was, what, 17 actually. Okay, now I can capture more Pokemon. Cause the main Pokemon I'd want to capture here, if it was possible, would be, uh... You know, Lediba. This moves really slow. Okay. Yeah, because Lediba and Spinarak, you can catch here. Oh, Spinarak's in more areas? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So I don't think I can get Lediba because you can only get it during the morning. And the chances of me playing 
any Pokemon game during the morning or any video game in general is very low. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm going the wrong way. I started going to Mr. Pokemon's house, not paying enough attention. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Now it's night. Okay. So I guess it becomes night pretty early on. I wasn't expecting it to be night already. So if it's night, what are we going to run to? Spinarak? Hoot Hoot. Okay, Hoot Hoot I can use. So that's pretty lucky. Hoot really quickly to our team. Uh, hoot hoot. <laughs> That's really funny because it just stands on the one leg. Uh, okay, I'm just going with whatever. Fire Emblem character comes to mind first, so we're gonna go with Henry. Okay. Does Hoot Hoot know, uh... Any flying attacks? No. still like to catch a bell sprout if I can catch it at night. Because the other Pokemon that's actually supposed to be here that I could have run into is Hoppip, but I didn't. Zubat, yeah. You can catch Zubat out, out of the dark cave at night. Uh, this is why Chikorita is just so bad. Like... All the po- so many Pokemon know bug and flying type moves. Oh. Let's try again. That time I got Zubat. I don't want to explore Dark Cave until I have Flash, just because, you know, it could be a bit annoying to, like, walk through there. Oh, that trainer is really far range. So this guy doesn't use standard Pokemon la like last time. Like, he normally had four Pokemon, but they changed him up, so he has, you know, Weedle. And then what he has afterwards is what's, like, the really shocking Pokemon about this guy's team. You know. It's like they did that to like add insult to injury. It's like they use string shot just to hit you with poison sting for you to get uh poisoned. Okay, Hoodoo, can you attack first? No, but you still got hit with String Shot. Okay. Nope. Oh, wow, it missed. 
Yeah. Now... Oh, wow, that's really good. Sentrit learns quick attacks so much earlier. So this is why- this fight is actually now pretty difficult early on if you don't have, like, Cyndaquil, because Pineco is really, you know, strong. And then it knows Harden. The only thing that's kind of going in my favor is just that Sentrit knows, uh, quick attack now. Oh, that was also really nice. Yeah, because when I played the, this the first time, because this is the last trainer in Pokemon Battle I did, this guy, you know, his Pineco really, you know, did some damage to my team. Okay. And then, I just want to capture a Bell Sprout, if I can still get it. Spin Rack, okay. Oh boy. Okay, I didn't get poison. That's nice. Okay, we got Spinarak. So Spinarak gets added. Where is Okay. Up. Uh. Whoops, my bad. I needed to give Spinarak a nickname. Okay, and then, like I said, this is where I stopped last time, so I'm gonna stop for this part of the video here. Got some pretty good Gen 2 Pokemon, I think, so far. Um, playing up to this point of the game, like, there, it, it makes sense not to change a lot, because, you know, you shouldn't go crazy, really, in the early game. But the changes that you have so far, are you know pretty interesting like i really like that you fight the the youngster that has the centret and the hoot hoot now and then that bug trainer not having three caterpies and one weedle having a pine call instead is you know pretty pretty interesting so next time uh i'm gonna do sprout tower the ruins of alf and maybe the the gym depending on the time anyway uh that's it for this video uh thanks for your time everyone and have a good day